98% of the DNA in our body does not belong to us at all. 95% of the cells in our body do not belong to us at all either. They belong to bacteria in our gut. And most of matter is just empty space, if you look at it, on a subatomic level. I don't care what you believe, we can all agree on this. Life is weird. But it's also amazing, too, if you take a look at all the odds. We somehow ended up here. Think about it. Most of the people that have ever existed throughout time are dead. We are such a small fraction of living humanity. And we're doing it right now. It's happening right now, right before our very eyes. I mean, eventually, we'll be dead. And we'll be among all the dead humans that have lived already. But there's this shining moment we're in right now. So it's truly special to be alive. It really is. So all the more reason to start taking better care of my body and making better decisions in life and who knows, maybe encouraging someone out there to do it too for themselves. Whether the attitude is you're lucky to be here and you want to take good care of yourself or we're stuck inside this body, either way, you got to take care of yourself. It's kind of cool to be alive and I'm lucky to be here, to be honest. That's how I really feel about it. I don't know how I got here, but I know I'm lucky to be here. And for as long as I'm here, I want to enjoy the ride as long as I possibly can. So. Yeah, it's time to take better care of this body, that's for sure. I'm the Amazing Fleck, and if you're new to my channel, I'm currently on break at work during a 16-hour shift using the treadmill in the basement. I promised my viewers that I would post every single day of this year, kind of like an experiment to see how I progress as a content creator throughout this year, and also as a means to try to stay relevant as an artist to the rest of the world by doing something to express myself every single day on camera for the whole world to see to last the test of time forever and ever as long as YouTube exists and as long as no electrical magnetic pulse comes and wipes out all the zeros and ones here on the planet Earth. And I guess today I just wanted to talk about what it's like to be living inside of this meat suit of a body that we all have and how strange life is in general. Finding myself slouched down in front of the computer quite often these days editing these videos for YouTube and that's no way to do it, right? Sitting like this in an awkward computer chair posture, watching TV posture. I think the solution is going to be to read more books on my stomach. Yeah, like baby cobra position they call that in yoga, where you're lying on your stomach and you lift up your chest and you can put your elbows down on the ground. And, and if I relax everything right here, breathe in nice and deep, as long as I don't get any discomfort while breathing in really deep. I could take in a good book and yeah, be some good medicine for my body to change up that posture to the opposite position for a prolonged period of time. If I can get comfortable sitting in that position, that might be my new position then. It might be really good to avoid getting a hunchback later on in my life, which I'm probably due for if I don't start making some significant changes in my lifestyle immediately. Yeah, I think we all have something that we have tight in our body, like a sore neck, or we use a certain muscle over and over again at work, or something like that. We might have a joint that's giving us some trouble. I know a lot of people out there have some problems with their thumbs right here from all the scrolling they're doing on their phone. Maybe something to do with their pinky too. Raise your hand if you got something like that. I know I do. Yeah, I gotta take better care of this meat suit, that's for sure. It's taken me this far in life. and I wanna go another 37 years, maybe another 50 or 60 if I'm lucky. Yeah, with all the advances in technology and medicine these days, who's to say how long we really will survive? George Burns, he lived to be over 100 years old. He smoked cigars every single day. And when he, I think when he got in his 90s or in his 100s even, he was asked what he would have done differently. And he said, well, if I knew I would be living this long, I would have taken better care of myself. Something to think about right there. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, famous billionaire and investor, he was known to give talks to students. In this talk, he would say, if I gave every one of you in this classroom, the car of your dreams, here today. You would take the best care of that car. You would clean it up nice. You would detail clean the inside and wash the outside regularly, You'd get regular oil changes. You would do all the standard maintenance that you'd have to do to keep that car running really well. And he also said, the funny thing is, is you'll probably have a couple more cars in your lifetime after that one dies or after you get bored of it. Well, we only have one body, and for some reason, most of us don't take good care of our bodies. Now, I can't act like I'm all that surprised. I was doing that myself for a long time. I put more value in the objects that I own, like my guitar, the TV, the computer, instead of really taking care of the thing that allows me to enjoy all those things, which is my body. And yeah, I think I, for the most part, snapped out of that mentality, but then 
once you snap out of it, you can see how common of a mentality that is. Well, I don't know where I'm going with all this stuff, folks, but I will say this. Life is an absolute mystery, life is absolutely beautiful, and life is absolutely precious. We don't know how long we got, might as well take good care of the thing we have that gets us around in this world so we can take care of the other ones that we meet in our journey and help them along and their get along and love one another as much as we can love ourselves. Yeah, I think that's what I was trying to say the whole time. Anyways, folks, thanks very much for tuning in again today. It's been a long day for me here, and I'm looking forward to doing another long day tomorrow. Please know that I post a lot here on YouTube. I post every single day of this year, in fact. I'm up to video 105, I believe, right now. And once a week, I post another tutorial on something to do with the circus and the flow arts. So if you want to learn how to juggle, or if you want to learn how to juggle clubs, or if you want to learn how to contact juggle, that thing that David Bowie did in the labyrinth, pretty cool stuff. Or if you want to learn how to, to spin things on your finger, yeah, they call that pediddling. You could spin a tray or a book or anything flat on your finger. Or you can even learn how to use the devil sticks. If you have a pair of devil sticks lying around, or if you've been thinking about getting some, you can watch some of these videos and learn the very basics. These videos are meant for absolute beginners who want to learn how to do these things but just don't know where to start. So if you are interested in learning any of those things, then please check out my playlist section and click Circus and Flow Arts Basics. You'll find a whole bunch of different videos to choose from and I add another one every Sunday or Monday morning. All right, everyone, thanks for listening to my piece here today. I don't know where I was going with it, I guess, but this is where we ended up. Thanks for coming along with me on my stream of consciousness. I appreciate it. Remember to keep safe, be well, stay humble, peace out.